OK, so welcome back to our lecture uh, for Advanced Excel. Your teacher, Mr. Orvin, is here. And this is the last part of our lesson. So what's my question? So previously, I've shown you the solution to example number five. OK. Let me share to you the Excel file. OK, so this is the solution. It's really a long answer. OK, so if you want, I'll just again I'm going to show you the notepad where I copied this. OK. OK, I'm just going to add uh, two more. OK, because these are nested if, so all the open parentheses must be closed. OK, so uh, is there another solution? Is there another solution? So we have to ask. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? OK, so anyway, what's the other solution? The other solution is to use a function that we earlier use. Services shaving. OK, count if. OK, we're going to use count if. Mr. Orvin, count if. What's why? <laughs> OK. Because here, I'm going to give an alternative solution. I'm just going to copy, move or copy this. Uh, OK, this is example number five. So I'm going to remove this. OK, count. We're, what are we going to count? We're going to count the number of yeses. Remember, attended three seminars. OK. Remember, attended two seminars. So if you counted the number of yeses in this range, then you'll have the result. If it is 9%, 6%, 3%, or no bonus. Okay, how do we write that? So let's write this. Now, if, okay, if, count if, Range criteria, yes. Okay, close parenthesis is equal to three. So count if he will count the number of uh, yeses in this range. So if it is three here, you're asking is it equal to three? Okay, that's a question. Therefore, if that is true, then your value of true is here, and that is. K5 uh, dollar sign absolute address multiplied to F3. Okay. Can you follow? Okay. So what's the next one? If that is not true, then you have to ask again another question. And the next question is it equal to two? The count if that you're asking. Okay. Two. I just copied this so it will be easier. Count if, same range, yes, you're counting. How many is it equal to two? Not equal to three, then you'll ask if it is equal to two. Okay, and what's your uh, result? If it is two, then it's 6% absolute address multiplied to F3, okay? If not again, then you have to ask if it is one, okay, one seminar, then it would be 3%. Okay, K7F4 multiplied to F3. F3 is your salary here, annual salary. Okay, comma, so what happened? Why is it not having color anymore? Count if, ah, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake here. So 
So if count if C3 yes here, before you ask question, you have to nest the if. Okay. If count if two. Okay. If not, again, you have to use an if here because you have to ask a question. Okay, now I get it. Now, three seminars, two seminars, one seminar, no, no bonus. Okay, not, no bonus is K8. And close parenthesis, close parenthesis, close parenthesis because you use three ifs here. So you open one, you open again another one, you open the last one, so you have to close it until it will become black, okay? Because the first one is always black. Okay, so press enter. Is it 576 previously? Here is 576. Okay, so let's copy and that's it. Mr. Orvet, why did you waste lesson? <laughs> uh, uh, one whole video for a long solution for example number five well i need to teach you about using and and how to tackle those kind of problems so all of this are actually um, part of your programming skills okay so if you 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 can review your programming skills you will have easier um, uh, is your time here in solving this? Okay, so that is the alternate solution for example number five. Okay, now let's see example number six. Example number six are actually trivia questions. What African country has Cairo as its capital? Is it African country? Yes, it's part of the North Africa uh, uh, continent. Okay, Egypt. What comic book company created the Avengers, Spider-Man, and X-Men? I think most of you know this. Marvel. Okay, so this is just actually an example of using if. You can see here, if B4 is equals to that answer, then correct. If not, wrong. Okay, you can see that here. Okay, so let's see here, since there's no answer yet, so this is the whole statement. So where's, where's that? Sheet 7, sheet 7, A7. So actually it's just hidden. So how do we unhide? Right click here, unhide, sheet 7. So this is actually the answer to those questions, sample 6. Uh, which chemical element has the symbol K? Chemistry, potassium. But of course, wrong spelling, wrong. It will not be correct if you are wrong in that. What country is the Shinto religion based in? Of course, Japan, Shinto. And which car company produces the Accord, the Accord and Civic? So, Honda. Okay, and that's it. Those are the answers to this. These are the answers to those questions. Okay, so that's the last part of our lesson uh, 10 for um, if statement. So I hope you enjoyed the whole lesson and I hope you can uh, apply this in some of your works using Excel. And uh, you can use it also in, your, in answering our exercise. And by the way, our project will be based or will be using a lot of if statements. So watch out for our videos, for our uh, live sessions, for our question and answers. Uh, so that ends our uh, lesson number 10. So I will see you again. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.